Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I was made aware of a Twitter account called Apex Anonymous. This is a Twitter account where people can anonymously submit their opinion about Apex Legends and it will anonymously tweet it out because that's fun, right? So today I figured we'd just go through some of these posts and uh, react to them. Also, I've decided to keep some gameplay running in the background because people's attention span is kind of fried these days. Anyways, moving on. Lobamains are the most toxic in the whole community. <laughs> yeah, th this is 100% true. I, I, I have to agree, this is 100% true. Let's see what they say. Not at all, at least not a wraith. No, it's 100% true. Lobamains are the most toxic. Lobamains... To me, first off, I consider them to be the worst teammate that you can possibly have. It's always Loba mains that either like completely let you down or pop off immediately, like super hard. But I'd say it's about a 99.999% chance that the Loba is completely useless and toxic. And going off how they act on, on online with their online presence, I can tell you they're very annoying and very toxic. They're basically like the mercy mains if you played Overwatch of, uh, of Apex. I want to drink Mirage's kids. Like okay, that's said. That's said by um, Loba main. I'm sure. Moving on. Mirage's kids scream support. I'm so confused why his class as a skirmisher. Ash is more skirmisher than Mirage, and she's an assault legend. That's not even a hot take. I don't agree. I don't disagree. Honestly, I think it's because they want to have like a very certain like if you have a lot of utility to your kit, you put them in skirmisher. But honestly, yeah, like I feel like the support angle is better for Mirage, and honestly, if they even lean into it a little bit more, he'd be a really good support legend for, like, very niche uses. I, he wouldn't matter against Seer, but you know what I mean. Hot take, SBMM in Apex is perfectly fine, and everyone's just being dramatic. That is a hot take. That is a hot take. I gotta take a look at the replies here. There's no way. Let's just want to talk with him. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I'm right behind you, man. Okay. I need Loba to take off her heels and let me smell the inside of it. All right, moving on. Hot take, the fart man is actually fun to play. That is a very hot take. Why does Apex not have a voice line like Overwatch where a legend simply says hello to the teammate or enemy? Actually don't disagree. That would be kind of cool. Overwatch just feels like more polished in general, right? Like, when it comes to these small things, there's always, like, a feature for it or whatever. I, I don't know, man. Definitely missed out. Grown adults crying over a video game character, not showing her T and A. Get a job, do something meaningful. I feel targeted. <laughs> okay, I have I have to explain my take here. I don't think anyone would care about the whole Loba swimsuit skin if they didn't call it the Loba. Like, this, they said it will be a swimsuit skin, right? And she's like... You, I don't feel like you go to the beach or you do go to the beach, but you don't go swimming like that. She's wearing heels It's like it's it's such a yoink It's such a rug pull of a of a skin release if they just would have released it without a tweet I don't think anyone would have cared, but they knew the hype to lean into it and people are upset about it also, it's a really weird take to to talk about how people are acting weird simping over Loba like her entire personality, like, is, is she's basically Widowmaker from Overwatch. <laughs> They're like hyper, you know, sexualizing L Loba. Like, that's every single voice line she has is like innuendo or like, you know, you just like really over the top stuff. And then people are upset that, uh, I don't know, man. It, it's weird. You guys are weird. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't understand why the community gets so worked up when they see pros playing free stack pubs are they not allowed to play together outside professional scrims or what that is a hot take i have to see the comments before i make up my mind it's interesting that in the comments they just mention that people talk about predators like dude the difference between a predator like someone said is better basically when it comes to like skill level it, i think a bit a bit like in runescape but the skill level is basically like you go from if you go from master to predator that's like a massive massive difference like bronze to master massive difference Master to Predator, the exact same difference. Then Predator to Pro, the exact same difference. And if you go into like Pro League, so Pro Pro, same difference again. It, it, it's absolutely massive. So to have three of those people in a stack in pubs is so over the top. And you guys already know my take on free stacking in pubs. I feel like if you try hard in pubs for a free stacking, you're very cringe. 
it annoys me how many clickbait videos Apex YouTubers make. Wow. All right, just at me next time, okay? Just, just at me. What the hell, man? Rafe would not be OP if given her insta back, especially when a character has legal wall hacks. This is not even a hot take. I definitely agree. Rafe is like in a weird place, and I feel like the insta Q would kind of just redeem her. Her Q isn't even like good to begin with. People just chase her down half the time. Honestly, Watson and Rafe are better looking and hotter than Loba. I don't make the rules. I love this tweet. I actually say this all the time. Like, obviously, she's being all like with the innuendos whenever I mentioned like a few tweets ago. But, but I 100% agree. I said it literally the other day. I don't know. I mean, if you're into like, you know, MILFs and all that stuff, like all the power to you. I'm not. I'm not into, I'm not into that demographic. <laughs> Watson and Rafe, they're up my alley. I'm just gonna say it. You guys already know me. You already know what I think about Watson. How do people wake up and decide to main crypto? <laughs> Wait, what's the pick? What is the pick rate for crypto? It's like really low as well, isn't it? 1.6%. 1.6% of players pick up crypto. They wake up and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna play crypto today. It used to be 1.3. I wanted to see the rank. Yeah, he, he sees a lot more play in Predator, which makes sense. But, uh, damn, you guys, between rookie to diamond one, you gotta, you gotta step it up. <laughs> Loba has a flat. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. People just, like, hype her up because that's her personality. I don't think people actually think she's actually hot. I'm just saying. I think Valk is probably, like, that's what I'm saying. Well, I don't... I don't know why Overwatch Anonymous is all about that type of stuff. I just hope I don't get like demonetized or something. I'll, I'll say what I say though. The dev who keeps Olympus out of rotation every season has a spot ready in hell. They're on a ninth level of purgatory, man. They're, they're not getting out of there. They're forced to uh, play through, you know, hundreds of hours of King's Canyon or hundreds of years of King's Canyon uh, until they're finally let out. Loba Heirloom 100% is the worst heirloom, always will be mid legend, Revers, right? <laughs> Wait, which one is it? Yeah, dude, I got so much, I got so much hate for calling your heirloom bad in my uh, legend tier, or heirloom tier list video. I stand by it. I don't think it's a cool heirloom. They literally shoehorned it in. They're like, oh, we can't think of anything to give Loba. So they, they make up a comic where she has the feather thing and then in the next patch like oh i don't know a week later to give her the the heirloom it's 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 lazy i'm sorry respawn it's very late i i see i see what you're doing and i i don't think it's really cool i do like the revenant uh slicing animation though i do like that i will give you a little bit of props where i see it i bet gibby is real hot who is writing these is this the same guy i swear to god is Mirage on? What is happening? What is happening right now? Please stop using the wingman if you have already tried practicing with the pistol for hours. You can't aim with it and accept the fact. Think about all the kills you could have gotten if you used use another gun. Stop being ridiculous and go help your team. Listen, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna engage with this because I can't read. <laughs> I'll continue with it. I am a 43 year old male. I get called out a lot of times for playing Apex because of my age. Is this something to be embarrassed for? I have no self confidence left. Oh man. I think it depends on what rank he is. It just goes down to like what rank he is and like how, how he takes it, I think. At the end of the day, man, it just it doesn't really matter how old you are and, and all that. Like, it, it's gaming, it's supposed to be inclusive, right? Dude, I remember uh, this is how it called. There's like several competitive teams in CS, and it's just a treat to watch. They're like 80 years old or something, and they just they just play Counter Strike. They're not very good, so I, I actually I don't even know why I mentioned the rank part. But like, if you're just looking at it from that perspective, like they're not very good. It's still super fun to see. They're having a great time. So I mean, you do you, I guess. Again, it's, gaming's meant to be inclusive. Oh, we hit the bottom already. This account hasn't been up for long. This is Apex Anonymous, if you guys want to check it out. I feel like Garrett is probably managing this, but I have no idea. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like, subscribe for more bangers, and I will see you all tomorrow. Also, check out that video on the screen. It's pretty good. See ya.